us this evening for Choice Night. My name is Atia Johnson. I handle school choice for the district. I'm going to introduce a few other colleagues here. We have Mr. Jeffrey Jabot. He's our director of elementary schools. And then we have Gabe Phillips, strategic marketing, and a lot of other hats. But on behalf of Colonial School District, we do appreciate your interest in our growing district. Uh, we're going to jump right into the presentation. And then immediately after, I'll open the floor for questions. Here we have a graduating class. Last year, the class of 2022, we had 584 graduating students. Just a fun picture of what it looks like to be a colonial. School Choice is an educational program that allows families to make the best school enrollment decision for their child. School Choice gives students opportunities to attend schools or programs that best fit their needs, whether it's a public, charter, Votech or magnet school. Students residing within the state of Delaware can attend any public charter or vocational school in the state using the school choice program. All families interested in school choice are required to complete the standard application form for consideration. All parents interested in having their child participate in the school choice program are required to complete a school choice application. For the upcoming school year, the school choice application period begins on Monday, November 7, 2022 at 8 a.m. and closes on Wednesday, January 11, 2023 at 11.59 p.m. On the application, families can apply to three schools and or programs within each district or charter school. Applications are available online and in paper form. However, it is highly recommended to complete the application online to track your child's application progress. We are required to accept applications to all of our schools, serving students in grades kindergarten through 12. However, some schools have limited seating availability. The following schools are open for choice. Cary Downey, Castle Hills, Eisenberg, Newcastle, Southern, Wilmington Manor, McCullough, and William Penn. The following schools are open to choice as well, but some applications may be placed on a wait list. Kathleen H. Wilbur, Pleasantville, George Reed, and Gunning Bedford. Please note, if your child is placed on our school's wait list, wait lists are maintained until the first day of school. All choice applications are required to be pre-registered at their resident theater schools or currently registered at a Delaware public school for processing. Pre-registration for the upcoming school year can be completed on November 7th once the choice application period opens. Choice applicants that are not pre-registered or currently registered at their resident feeder schools will not be processed or entered in the lottery draw. This step is vital for the choice process. Students that are not five by August 31st are able to take Colonial's early admissions testing. If the student scores in the superior range, he or she may be considered for a choice invitation. Early admission testing is only available for students residing within Colonial's feeder area. The kindergarten choice application will remain open until the first day of school for the 2023-2024 school year. Any kindergarten application submitted prior to the January 11th closing date will be considered in our February lottery. Kindergarten applications submitted after the January 11th closing date will be reviewed and processed weekly. Once the application period ends, all completed applications will be submitted in our choice lottery, which is generated randomly. Applications are invited using the following priority. School and or program capacity, then the lottery will filter through the returning students who continue to meet the school choice or program requirements. Then it filters through siblings of students who are already enrolled in that school. Then it filters through children of Colonial School District employees. Then it filters through students living within Colonial. And then the last filter is students living outside of Colonial School District. Once the lottery runs, we then have an inv each invitation board approved before informing our families. 
after the February 7th board meeting, invitations will be sent to each parent and guardian via email and postage mail. If your child was not invited through the lottery, you will receive a wait list or rejection notification via email and postage mail as well. All choice responses must be returned by March 17, 2023. Once your child is accepted at a colonial choice school, his or her choice status will remain active until the end of building configuration, which are grades five, eight, or 12. An accepted student must remain enrolled in a choice school for a minimum of two school years unless the student graduates from the choice school, the parent or guardian is no longer, the parent or guardian, excuse me, no longer resides in the state of Delaware, or the student fails to comply with the district's academic attendance and behavior code of conduct. Colonial School District offers Spanish Immersion Language Programming. At this time, students in grades kindergarten through seven are utilizing our language programs at three of our schools, which are Kathleen H. Wilbur Elementary, Gunning Bedford Middle School, excuse me, and our newest addition, Pleasantville Elementary School. We, are, we offer Spanish Immersion as a choice program. If you are interested in your child joining our language program, you will be required to submit a choice application even if the choice program is your child is located within your child's resident feeder school. All immersion students currently in grade five must choice to the program for the middle school level. For the upcoming school year, we will be accepting applications for Spanish immersion at Kathleen H. Wilbur, Pleasantville Elementary, and Gunning Bedford Middle School. All kindergarten language immersion applicants are required to complete a screening prior to choice consideration. All screening instructions are emailed to families after the choice application is submitted. One of the biggest deciding factors in participating in school choice is transportation. Transporting a child to and from a school or to and from an existing close existing bus stop, excuse me, is an everyday commitment. If you are interested in your child attending a school through the choice program, Please note that transportation is not provided to choice students. Choice families can, however, request a stop using the closest existing bus stop in the choice school's feeder area if there are available seats on the bus. If there are no seats available, it will be the responsibility of the parent or guardian to transport the child to and from school each day. Choice status may be terminated if the student fails to meet the district's student code of conduct for academics, attendance, and or behavior. It can also be terminated if the choice seat was approved for daycare and the student no longer attends the daycare. Finally, if a parent or guardian can choose to terminate the seat at the end of the school year as well. Choice status automatically terminates at the end of building configuration, grades five, eight, or 12. If your child is terminated from the school choice program, he or she is expected to return to the resident theater school based on your home address. Students terminated by the school principal after failing to comply with the district student code of conduct will not be able to participate in the school choice program the following school year. This slide just offers my information as far as phone number and email in the event that you all have any direct questions in regards to your students' needs or specific programs or schools. Um, all this information is also available on our school website through the school choice tab. Unfortunately, I don't have any business cards available, but there are some here for our strategic marketing officer, uh, Mr. Phillips, who will off can also offer tours at specific schools through scheduling. Um, and then we'll open the floor for questions. I'll go back. student is a choice student, let's just say your child enters in grades kindergarten at the elementary level, she, he or she will remain active each grade level. So grades one, two, three, and four, and five without you applying each year. The last day of school of fifth grade, the status automatically terminates okay. because the application is only active at that school or program. So we would have to reapply? For grade six. Yeah. 
And then the same thing for green dot. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? When is my second internship? Mm -hmm. Then we can turn our applications online. Sure, they are available, yep, either through the school choice website directly, um, the Colonial School District website, and all of our schools will have them available as well. So you can definitely get one if they're okay. not. Okay. okay, when it opens. I also just want to reiterate that if you're interested in touring the school, speak with Mr. Phillips and he can make that arrangement to, uh, to visit. If there's a specific program that you're interested in, he can highlight that program for you when you're there. If you will take time, you can be flexible as you need to. If it's anywhere from kindergarten to a specific school you're interested in, all the way up to the high school, um, we can do it any day of the weekend because I'd like to stay married. So, um, but if, if, you, uh, if you really have questions, my business cards are up here. Um, we're available, any of us are available. Either Dr. Jones, oh, I didn't get a chance to Bell. introduce Dr. Jones, our assistant superintendent. And then we also have our assistant principal, McCullough, Ms. Lewis, here as well. So if you have questions about anything specific about a school, um, many of us can answer those questions because if, um, they've been either principals or teachers in this or parents, you know, themselves. Those two, wherever they are, are both um, colonial students as well, so I can give you some insight for this, like, not just as a staff member, but as a parent as well. So if you have questions about specific things, I'm more than happy to answer them. Um, so grab a card, my, my um, phone is on there, my email is on there, you can reach out. Um, and I can either, if I can answer them, I can point you in the direction of these lovely people and answer them. You may have already um, talked about it sorry, I was late. You say when did choice programs start? Like when do um, parents can they start applying? Monday, November 7th, this year. It's always the first Monday in November, and it always closes the second Wednesday in January. So this year, you'll apply for next year, but it opens on November 7th at 8 a.m. Okay. So we have paper applications, or you can apply online, but I can provide you with the website because I don't have anything listed on paper. Okay. So the parents hear that? So once the application period closes, uh, we then have to process all of them, meaning you know make sure that they're pre-registered, if there's screening necessary, that they've taken care of all of those precautions. Um, then the lottery run, runs in February. I usually run it the first week of February so that it's prepared and all the invitations are board approved. Our board meeting for the month of February is February 7th. Um, once the board approves them, I then send them out usually within like the next two to three business days. So I usually tell people you'll know something by Valentine's Day. That's usually my, my cushion date for myself. But we have until the end of the month to notify families, so the end of February. For like the middle schools, is there like a certain amount of people that you let in for the choice program? Because I saw it, like they say like limited. It is a certain amount. So we base it on, um, I guess it's to the point you can speak to this yeah. too. Dr. It's Jones. based on the student enrollment and whether the school has special programs in it or not because it, buildings are only permitted to hold a certain amount of students. So once we figure out the feeder schools and the students that are in um, special programs and the kids that were already choice there because they were in a great configuration, then we'll determine how many seats we have open and then we will um, we will get kids in. Yep. The lottery usually goes through. Like I said, the lot, depending on how many seats we have available, um, the lottery, let's just say we have 25 seats available, Ben Beffert, to your point. Mm -hmm. um, but then we have 200 applications. So obviously the lottery will invite 25 and then wait list the rest. Um, and then the waitlist are maintained until the first day of school. So I always tell families, like, don't be upset if you don't hear anything in February. We have until August to maintain because things happen. Um, and then we notify people immediately in the event that we have a space available up until then. Yeah. Okay. Questions? So, um, so we apply to our feeder school. Register. And, yep. and then how do we say we want to do something? That's the choice application. So once you register at your feeder school, okay. where you'll submit your child's birth certificate, a proof of residence, all those things will be at your resident feeder school. When we say feeder school, we mean the school that's assigned to your address. I know sometimes that terminology kind of goes over people's heads, but every home in the state of Delaware is assigned a elementary, middle, and high school within one district. 
So depending on what grade your child is entering next year will determine where you will pre-register, unless your child is already registered at a Delaware public school. Um, once you complete registration at your feeder school, you can then submit a choice application to any school within the state of Delaware. And at that time, you'll list the schools that you're interested in. Okay. And you can choose up to three? You can choose up to three schools or programs within each district okay. or charter. So, like, let's just say you have three schools you're interested in in Colonial, maybe two schools you're interested in in Christina School District, and maybe one in Apple. You can do all of them under the same user account online. Okay. Um, and then submit them at that time. But you get three school choice options per district. Okay. Okay. So I don't want you to think like it's just three out of all of the schools in the state. It's okay. three per district. Okay. Okay. Um, you should, that's a question, but you should be able to either on the Delaware Department of Education website um, or I guess the districts in general, like if you go to visit the district websites um, in all of Newcastle County, they should list all of their schools. I know we have a tab for schools, just all the schools that we have in our district. Is there, is there a schedule release of the document when you receive it? I'm sorry, say one more time. Is there a schedule release of the document you have to submit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.